Hey guys, Chris Razor here with Extreme Polishing Systems. Today I'm going to go over our smallest planetary grinder on our lineup, which is our Peanut Mammoth. First of all, make sure you like and subscribe to all our videos. You can always see the latest content we're coming out with. As for the grinder, uh, again, it's our Peanut Mammoth, our smallest planetary gear-driven grinder, so it's not a belt-driven unit like most of our competition which is really nice. Um, at belts, will break at some point, especially if you were to hit something in the floor, say old bolts from rack shelving. Um, so that's a big project when you have to replace a belt. You have to disassemble the gearbox completely, uh, and there's nothing like having to do that on a job site and everybody watching you. So what's unique about this is there's a keyway on the outside of each head on each shaft. So if we're running around, let's say, there's rack shelving that was in a building at one point, and those racks are held down with bolts into the concrete. Well, when they remove the racks and you have a coated floor, you can't really see those bolts. So guys will be running across, they hit the bolt, and that breaks the belt. With ours, it's gonna shear a keyway on the outside, which is about a five minute fix, and you can watch that in another video that we have on how easy that is to replace. There's never a disassembling the gearboxes, replacing it and putting it back together. It's about a 10, five, 10 minute fix. Anyways, I'm gonna go through the unit, show you the features of it, uh, the pros of the unit. It's a single phase 220 variable speed grinder. It'll run on 30 amps. Anything over 50 foot of cord, we recommend you put it on a 40 amp breaker, just to ensure that you have enough amperage coming to the grinder. Um, so super easy to hook up, hook up in a dryer outlet, uh, double pole breaker. Uh, we recommend that you run it on a 15,000 watt generator at minimum. 7,500 watts a really good grinder to use for that, um, for this size grinder. You can actually probably plug in a 110 volt vacuum with it and run everything off that 7,500 watt generator. Um, on the bottom of this, I'm gonna show you the plate system. So obviously I said it was a planetary grinder, so it's three heads, uh, holds nine diamonds. It's got our patented gear, our patented magnetic plate system, and behind that has our 502 couplers, so, which gives you a lot of rigidity, rigidity but it's uh, flexible enough to follow the contour of the floor. Um, on here, you'll see we have attached the shroud to the unit, so you know, leaning it back, you don't have to worry about the shroud falling off and reattaching it. So that's super nice and convenient. Um, there's a little footrest in the back, so when you're leaning it down, it won't slam on the ground for you. You can set it down real nice and easy. The unit's 550 pounds. It's very well weight distributed. Uh, if you need to add additional head pressure to the grinder, you can with our, our weight system here, or if you need to alleviate some, some weight when you're polishing, you can certainly do that as well, or when you're grinding, add that additional weight. Like I said, you can use the unit wet or dry. So here's your, your water tank, which is a five gallon water tank. There is a screen here, so when you're dumping water in it, you don't have to worry about something getting in here and then clogging the water lines. That's a nice little feature. Seven and a half horsepower. There is an LED light, which you'd be surprised how handy that comes into play when you're working in a commercial site. They don't have lighting in or they have temp lighting and you can't really see around. It's super important when you're doing polished concrete that you see what you're, what you're doing, making sure that you're not missing any areas. So that's a really cool feature. Um, over here is how we're gonna adjust the unit to kind of fit what works best for you. Uh, you can also adjust these to up or down, just depending on the user and their height. Here is the on off switch. So this is how we turn the unit on and off. Speed controls right here. And then obviously our emergency stop. So if you get into a situation, you stop it real quick, you certainly can. Uh, the unit does come with a USB port, so you can plug in your phone. Uh, I guess you could watch your favorite TV show if you're grinding for 10 or 12 hours a day. Just kind of set it here and be able to, to do that while you're still working. We do have a water valve here. This will control the water, how much water is being put on the floor or how little. In the back of the unit is our cam lock system, and this is where your vacuum port will actually plug in. Um, so you'll, you'll be able to plug in your vac right back here. It's got a nice cam lock feature, which a lot of people don't, don't have on their grinders. They just have a hose that they, they plug in and that constantly gets pulled out. So it's nice to be able to lock it in and have it out of the way. Um, the units come with a one-year bumper-to-bumper warranty and a two-year motor warranty. 
So anything were to go wrong, give us a shout. We'll be able to walk you through it. If we can't walk you through it, we'll get a grinder sent up to you. You send this one back, you repair it. Uh, but that's our peanut mammoth. Uh, thanks for watching and have a great day.